Greetings friend, entrepreneur, and fellow business builder. I'm marketing master Jim Ackerman, and this is Biz Kaboom's Good, Bad, and Ugly Ads, where you get to look at an ad and determine whether you think it's good, bad, or ugly from an effectiveness point of view, and I get to tell you if you are right or not. Huh? How about that? All right, let's take a look at today's advertising specimen. It's from an advertising agency but it's not work by the agency for a client, it's work by the agency for the agency. And here it is, it's a little brochure, it's a gate folded brochure, by that I mean you open it up and you see there's like a little swinging gate there, okay? So let's take a look at the cover first of all. And this is it, that's what it looks like on the front cover. You can see the name of the agency down there and a little slogan underneath. Then when you open it up on the inside and take a look at the first open fold and here are some comments right there it says um, uh, sought after speakers at the most um, renowned trade shows including JCK Las Vegas and the in-store smart jewelry show featured writers for trade publications including JCK magazine national jeweler and in-store celebrating over 150 creative awards including marketing's most coveted Addy Awards so that's the stuff that goes on this side, and then they've got some graphics over there. And then look at what happens when you open the, up the gate and see all the copy there that talks about the various uh, services that they provide. Hmm? Okay, from an ad agency, you tell me, is this specimen good, bad, or ugly? What I want you to do is take a good look at it so you can stop the uh, video that you're watching at any point in time over the next few seconds to take a closer look at each of these panels and then come back with a verdict. Do you think it's good, bad, or ugly? And when you've had your chance to make your judgment, I will give you mine. So, what did you decide? Good, bad, or ugly? Well, let's take a look at this, and I think this is a particularly meaningful specimen, if you will, because ad agencies do this kind of thing all the time. They don't apply the basic rules of marketing that they would apply, presumably, to the marketing that they do for you. For example, let's take a look at the cover. It says the name of the company, has a slogan underneath, but no headline. No benefit-oriented headline to suck you into the copy. Number two, when you open up and see the first panel, what you have is a bunch of feature statements, but nowhere in that first panel is a benefit statement that you as a prospective client would be able to see the results of doing business with this company. Now on the other hand, when you finally do get to the inside, they give you quite a bit of copy explaining why they're good, but again, it's all feature oriented. And do you see anything specific missing from this particular brochure? And the answer, of course, is yes. There's not much of a call to action. All they have is a call to action over here that says visit their website. That's pretty much it. No offer. Hmm, pretty interesting. I have to say this. Um, and it sounds self-serving to some degree, but it's quite disappointing to see ad agencies all over the place do these kinds of things. Aside from that, it's not that graphically pleasing, although to their credit, they did uh, um, uh, adhere to good rules of copy in that they uh, put their copy here, uh, flush left, ragged right, and uh, do have some segments and some things to break it up. But other than that, graphically not outstanding in any way, I can't even give it good. The marketing master says, unfortunately, this piece is ugly. Well, how did you vote? Well, it doesn't really matter. The point is you voted, you have an opinion. It may not have squared with the marketing master, but it is important that you share your opinion with, with others, so definitely leave some comments below. And then stay tuned for the next episode of Good, Bad, and Ugly Ads, where you'll get another shot, maybe you can do a little bit better. 
Don't forget to subscribe, share the channel with your friends, and together we'll all move toward getting more customers who will pay you more money more often, the fastest, easiest, most cost-effective ways possible, right here on Biz Kaboom's Good, Bad, and Ugly Ads.